our final off-the-record parting shots, and Sam, you get to go first. I think Ohio State's going to win the Big Ten championship. Hey, go Buckeyes. Oh, you're going out on a limb there. I'm going out there. <laughs> yeah, right. In Terry. football? In football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Sam, I kind of remember you predicting when the Cavaliers were going to win the NBA championship. I said they didn't make the playoffs. Oh, oh okay. Right. He well, said LeBron was, was going to stay, yeah. Right. Okay. But, I did say that. <laughs> well, well, I was at the Wisconsin game, but it might have been Ohio State's big bowl game of the year and their big win. I hope they win some more. Uh, but uh, the reality is there's still a ways to go, and there's a lot of tough games ahead of them, and it won't be a Rose Bowl or a BCS game, unfortunately, this year. We had that last Saturday night. That was the big game. Darrell. Downtown workers, like many of us, uh, you know, we're, it's a moment of sadness. Uh, for the next year, our main exit into downtown is going to be cut off. So all you folks who don't work downtown, you know, Cry a tear for us. <laughs> Part of the seventy one six seventy interchange project mess. Craw Lumbus. I like the title. Craw Lumbus. <laughs> Karen. I think Bob Hagan is on his continuing campaign to be the most topical legislator. He's the one that proposed no Republican adoptions after Republicans proposed no gay adoptions. He proposed drug testing for state lawmakers after <laughs> the proposal on drug testing for uh, public assistance recipients. And now he's proposed that Republicans donate to uh, the food bank because they had to be called back in for the session that happened this week. All right. My off-the-record comment, listen to 89.7 FM and also check us out online, WOSU.org, for complete election results Tuesday and then back here next week for a complete analysis.